In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Paystack account and start selling your digital and physical product online. Paystack is an online payment gateway that enables customers to pay the sellers through online. So in this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is for you to create a Paystack account. You can actually sell any kind of product on Paystack, whether physical product or digital product. You can sell softwares, you can sell ebooks, you can also sell your online training through Paystack. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a Paystack account in just minutes. Now, the good thing about Paystack is even if you don't have the product to yourself, you can decide to sell other people's products by displaying their items or creating a store in Paystack about the items and find a way and market the store or the items to customers that you think that will buy the products. If this is your very first time of watching my video, my name is Asui Ken Nakinsley and on this channel, I give you tips and solutions on how to make money online and some other relevant tips that helps us in our daily life. And during the weekends, I post videos on new application and new games that is coming up on virtual reality space. So if this is your very first time of watching my video, please consider hitting the subscription button and also the bell button so that you'll be notified once I upload a new video. So the first thing we need to do is go to paystack.com and once we go to paystack.com click on create account create a free account everything about this paystack is free until you start earning they'll be collecting a little percentage from your profit so this is the first thing you're going to see so this is the first page you're going to see my country is already selected Ghana, Nigeria, South Africa. But I don't think this is limited to only Ghanaians, Nigeria, and South Africa. Because there are so many other countries when you start signing up on this platform. So, put your business name. Once you put your business name, put your first name. After your first name, put your last name, put your email. And specify your phone number. Create a password for your account. Then, start a business, registered business. If you registered business, you select registered business, which will require you to put more additional information while you're creating the account. Or if you're not a registered business owner, you click on start a business. Then, are you a software developer? If you're a software developer, you specify, yes, you're a software developer. If you're not, say no i am not then i consent to the collection just click here and click on create account once you click on create account this is the next page that is going to come up on your screen verify your email you just have to go to your email which you used in signing up this particular account as you can see verify your pay stack email then open the email and click on confirm email address. Once you click on confirm email address, it will still tell you to log in again. So just click on log in to your account. Once you click on log into your account, I named this online hustle. Got it. First is profile. As you can see here, you have to fill out all this information. Description. What do you do? You have to input what kind of business you do, whether it's digital products you want to sell or physical products. You have to make a little bit of description about the product you want to sell online. Then staff size, you have to decide one to five or 50 and above. I'm going to go to one to five. Industry, what kind of industry? So you can decide the industry you belong to i'm going to go to commerce okay then category digital goods you can decide on what you want to specify here automobile digital goods physical goods real estate digital services legal etc so i'm going to select digital goods and start a business registered business if your business is registered you can decide to select this registered business but i think if you select registered business it will ask you for more additional information legal business name 
registration type, as you guys can see, incorporated trustee, incorporated company, etc. So I'm going to select starter business and click on save. Okay, so this is the information I filled and I'm going to click on next contact. So at this point, use general email for support. Dispute, use general email for dispute. If you have a website, you include your website, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. You can include your Instagram, Facebook, Twitter here as well. Then um, country, select country. Okay. As you can see, almost all the countries are here. Apartment or house. Apartment. Click on save. Now the information is shown to you. Now you click on next. The next page comes up, which is owner. Owner, you put your name, your last name, date of birth, you specify all this information, nationality, who your country, identification documents, Nigerian bank verification number, BVN, driving license, national identification number, voter's card, passport. Once you're done putting all this information, you can provide your utility bill. Double click and upload your utility bill, your NEPA bill, or any proof of address. So click on save. Once you're done with that. Now this is the most interesting part. So you can review all this information and see if you have to go and edit and change anything. But I think mine is okay. Then click on next. Once you click on next, it's going to take you to account. You have to provide the account in which you want to receive your funds. So bank name, if you click on bank name, you will see all the banks listed here in Nigeria. As you guys can see, okay. Access Bank, Access Bank Diamond, ETC, Zenith Bank, put the account number. So once you put your account number, automatically the name of your account will appear to show that this site is actually connected to all the banks in our country. So once you're done with this, click on save. So we are done with this compliance. Then we're going to go to get started. Okay, click on get started here. Activate business. Submit compliance details to accept life payment. Click here, activate business. As you can see, this is now live. As you guys can see, it's now showing a sign like a stamp, and here it's showing live, which means this account is done. It's showing all done. Now, if you go to transaction, you can see. There's no transaction because this is still a new account. We've not started transacting with this particular account. If you go to customers, you won't see any customer because you've not started getting customers yet. Now, refunds, you can decide to make refunds to your customers in case, if, depending on what you're selling. Okay, you can decide to make refunds to your customers depending on the kind of product you're selling. If it's a physical product, if it's a digital product, you can decide to make refunds. So this is where the refunds will be showing. Okay, payout. If you go to payout, this payout is the money that has been sent to your local bank account, as in the money you've made, but you finally gotten the money to your local bank account. Okay, so no payout yet. As you can see, we haven't paid any money to this account. No disputes yet. Transaction splits. In this transaction splits, you can decide to split your income or your profit with your partner maybe running the business with another person, okay? So you can decide to split your profits or whatever thing you people make on a particular goods or service, you can decide to split it with your partner. So from here, you can actually do that. New split group, you can decide to name, split group name, category, NGN, USD, percentage split or flat split and create your splits, okay? Now let's go to sub account. In this sub account, you can decide a particular percentage to be going to a particular account. 
no sub account found. A split payment features on Paystack allows you to split money received from a transaction across multiple accounts. We call these accounts sub accounts. Okay, so you can decide to say for every ten thousand you make, five thousand is going to this account, and five thousand will be going to this particular account. Subscription. In this subscription, you can decide to render a service that people will subscribe monthly or annually to that service. That people can subscribe on a monthly or yearly basis, depending on what kind of service you're providing. You can decide to make it a recurring payment monthly or annually. Everything depends on what kind of service you're rendering with this platform. So as you guys can see, you can use this platform, Paystack platform, to sell digital products like ebook, video tutorial, softwares, and different kind of digital product. You can also use it to sell physical products, okay? And collect information from your customers, their phone number, their address, their email, everything, and have the product delivered to their doorsteps. Guys, as you can see in this video, it takes just a couple of minutes for you to create your own Paystack account and you start selling physical products or digital products online. Even if you don't have a product, you can decide to sell somebody's physical product or a self-proposed digital product, ebook, softwares, and online training, and you make money online. Well, for those of you that would like to go deep down and learn how to set up your online store on this pay stack, okay, and the safest way you can sell your digital products without going through Google Drive, where you can even make more money selling your digital products, okay? You're going to be selling the digital product and you are also going to be making more money once they download the digital product. I'm going to be leaving a video at the end of this video. Make sure you watch that video. This particular video explains everything. I took you step by step, set up an online store in that video and make money while selling it and also make money while the people that you sold it to is downloading it. You'll be making double money, okay? You will need to watch that video. I'm going to put that video at the end of this particular video. So for those of you that would like to create your first stack account, I will leave a link in the description below this video. I will see you guys in my next video. You guys should stay creative and remain blessed.